fighting. Crap, man. Look at this. Sea snake coming out of a hole right there. Whoa. Yes, we're eating today. <laughs> Straight on the coals. Traditional style. Down the gob. Oh, hey. Brand new adventure. I've just been picked up from the airport. Yeah. Cheers, legend. <laughs> and I'm here in Northwest Australia where I'm going to be living for the next two weeks, filming content for you guys. I've never seen that many shovel no shark in one spot. <laughs> I've never experienced conditions this harsh. Oh, this is tough. This is last resting place. No joke, this photo was taken from Will's car yesterday, clocking in at 50 degrees Celsius outside at four in the afternoon. It's so hot right now, I need to get in the water. Now, before we kick this mission off, I've actually heard from the locals that something pretty special has been happening recently on the other side of this beach. So on sunset, we're gonna head over there, see if we can find some special little creatures about to make a big journey. Let's go. Along the Ningaloo coast, over 10,000 turtle nests are dug every year. And after 40 to 60 days incubating, these little guys start erupting on the beach. Most hatchings happen at night. However, in the light of this sunset, the young are extremely vulnerable. This is only the beginning of a long battle of survival. Many will be taken before they even reach the water's edge. Seagulls patrol these beaches for an easy feed, while the sharks and fish just wait in the shallows. During the next 48 hours, the vast majority will inevitably die but those that survive will eventually, as their mothers did before them, return to the very same beach where they were hatched. How they make it across thousands of miles of open ocean is still a mystery to us. Come on, buddy. <laughs> I followed this particular hatchling from a nest straight into an obstacle course of rocks. Yes, go left. Oh, buddy, no. You're making this harder. <laughs> yes, man. You're going to make it. After a long struggle, he made it to the water. I then helplessly watched him swim alone towards his fate. But a miracle happened. This turtle just got taken by seagulls. He's just still going. I found myself inspired by this tiny little animal to never give up. I watched him make it to the water a second time, only to begin facing more challenges that come his way. Good luck, little buddy. We're out here in the middle of absolutely nowhere. You can probably hear that wind's picked up. We're gonna make the most of a crappy day here, windy as, and we're gonna drive down this track, which looks pretty endless. <laughs> Wade's just cleaning off his windscreen. He knows a couple good spots, so we're gonna drive there now, see if we can get some crabs before it gets too hot, middle of the day. Pretty keen, because I've never caught or eaten a WA mud crab. He's promised me good things. We're gonna send it, mate. We're heading there now. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Still can't see, Go. <laughs> <laughs> this bloke's never heard of windscreen wipers. Few of these gates. Bit of bush bashing here. Sun's coming up, getting close to the spot now. I'm just taking all this in. We don't have this over our way. Like, it's so fast, man. I, I feel like I'm on the moon or something. This is insane. Hey guys, we've just pulled up uh, the mangrove systems just in front of us. We're just going to be working our way along the edge of it and I guess down further into this system right here. This is the spot we're going to start from and we're going to be tracking all through these mangroves. But it's pretty important to have the right gear out here because it's that hot. It gets to 50 degrees. Booties. <laughs> yeah, sick. <laughs> Bob Uncle, mate. We're good to go. We're off. Little crab hole straight off the bat. This is gonna be awesome, man. There's a big one right there. 
starting on the outskirts. We may break into the mangroves soon, but there's a few holes already, so we'll just walk along here, see what we can find, and we'll punch into the uh, mangroves if it's looking pretty quiet out here. What the hell? Look at that. That's just like a, a trench. That doesn't even look like a crab hole. This is always a good sign. <laughs> That's a big muddy. That's obviously what we're looking for. What do we have here? Out in the open. Whoa. Oh, mud skipper. That is a perfect example of a big crab hole. We just have to stick our hands down and see if there's one in there. Oh, you wait off. <laughs> Scissors, paper, rock. It's warm in there, dude. Probably all in the skirt. Flies. That's a sick looking hole with the log over it. Gotta be a king in that one. That is one of the bigger mud crab claws I've seen out here. That's awesome, man. If we can find a crab matching that, or bigger, cheer, man. I see you, buddy. Look at the colors on this thing. That is sick. It's like orange and blue. Hey, buddy. Holy crap. Look at the size of that shell, man. That's a big crab. It's a really big crab. That's broken in half. We're finding a lot of dead crabs out here. Surely sooner or later there's gonna be one that's bloody alive and kicking. Worst comes to worst. We get these massive pippies. Look at the size of that one. That's a little mud skipper. We don't get those. Okay, I've kind of split up with Wade here. I wanted to check out the creek. Look at this. This is awesome. How's the horns on him too? Little goat. We got a sea snake right here. Look at him go, just sticking his head down all these holes looking for food. He's just pumping against that current that's ripping through. He's a northwestern mangrove snake. There's a few different species out here, I believe. But these guys, they don't get much bigger than this. Sticks his head in, pops back out. Keeps going, next hole. Kind of like us, looking for food. I think that's the first little sea snake I've ever seen. That's cool. This is sort of that moment where it's really going to test us. The flies are crazy, it's hot as, but we have a new spot that we're thinking we're going to go to. Fingers crossed, bro. Let's, Let's do it. it. The flies can be small. So we've just pulled up the car down this sick new track here, guys. Oh, look at them all. <laughs> so many show with those sharks. It's flowing out to the ocean right here, and it is chockers full of shovel nose sharks. I've never seen that many shovel nose sharks in one spot. Oh, stingray. Be careful of that one. Holy crap, man. Whoa! Ooh. Oh, look at this one, ready? <laughs> he stitched me up, he stitched me up. Oh, he beached himself. <laughs> that was bloody embarrassing. No wonder we haven't caught a crab yet. This is tough. It's very tough. Kangaroo. He's gone back down to the creek. Oh, he's trying to get in the shade, the poor bloke. He popped out, started running from me, like they usually do. And then he just stopped and just stood up straight. Kind of intimidating, I don't even lie. I think that it's just so hot out here, they're trying to get out of the bloody sun. Flies are just trying to get in your eye. Drink the oh, like fluid out of your eye and stuff, it's insane. He's sitting up on an air but he's got a pretty big tail and some big, big claws, so I'm gonna get out of his way so he doesn't tear me apart. Another prime example of how hot it is out here, this poor fella, his last resting place. But right, that's only a little turtle, it's sad to see. Keep looking, there's turtles, there's gotta be crabs, that's, that's all I gotta say. But there's a stingray right there. I could have been easily, there he goes. Easily stepped on. Look at that. Big bob out the back. <laughs> Big stingray. We've been out here for hours. Crabs exist. They exist. We got a little 
Oi, he's on my foot. Little muddy. Doing laps, hot laps around my legs. See snake coming out of a hole right there. Whoa, hey buddy. Get the crap out of me again. Oh, they're fighting! Holy crap, guys. Oi, kangaroo's fighting. Holy crap, man. Look at this. They're going at it. <laughs> Run, mate. He stopped. He's looking at me. You, you stay that way, buddy. I'll stay this way. Cause I'll left right good night ya. Remember that? He looks gnarly but he's like got a part of his ear torn off. Um real weird eyes, like I reckon he's a bit of a aggressive kangaroo. Hope he doesn't come back down here. Whew. Oi! Wade! He's trying to get me bro. Really? Yeah bro, come here. Need two people to scare him off. He's coming your way. Holy crap. I thought I was done for, eh? I just picked up this massive piece of coral. If it's me versus him, I don't know. I don't know if I got the GoPro on in time for that one, but he just came jumping. I heard him going doo doo behind me. But he's just sitting up under there. Gotta be really careful following this bank back, guys. We've put in, whoa, there another one goes, man. This is insane. That's gnarly. <laughs> well, we've worked our absolute asses off for crab. Wade's been taking me to all the spots. It's just not on today. Sometimes that happens. So to make the most of the limited time I got over here in WA, what we'll do is hook up the jet ski. The wind's supposed to be dropping off this afternoon. Hopefully we can shoot some that I haven't eaten in a bit and um, yeah, cook it up in the coals on the fire. So stay tuned for that, guys. Remember, it doesn't always work out how we want, but it's important to keep a positive attitude and keep on trying. Well, we've hooked up the ski and we've hit the beach. We're gonna try shoot some fish. Look at that. That is unreal. This is ridiculous. I haven't seen beach this clip for a while, bro. This looks like as good as it gets, really. I'm keen. I'm hungry. Let's bloody do it. It gets me every time. Let's see if we can get us some food. The bloke's about to jackknife the car here. It's about probably one or two in the Arvo. There's a few bombies out here that Wade knows of that should hold good trout, tusky. Yeah, not putting too much pressure on it, but we're pretty bloody hungry. So we have one gun and one whack looking mini gun with a prong spear thing. I don't know how well that's going to go. So we might just take turns with this one. Once again, we haven't eaten any food. We've just smashed the water. We're tired, but we'll do our best to get a fish to cook up on the beach down here a bit later this Arvo when that heat pisses right off. It's sitting like 50 degrees right now, which is unbelievable. Makes it all worth it when you got a view like this though. Oh my goodness, seats even that hot bro. Let's get some fish. Jeez, mate, you're getting a fright. Yeah, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. We found some sick ground right here. Put the fins on. Jumping in and getting a feed, not wasting any time. Good bombies right here. We're pretty close to the beach actually. Um, so I'm running Wade's gun, he's got the crap one for now. And hopefully I can plug a trout or a tusky and that'll be sorted for today. We'll see who's in there.
Well, that was easy. <laughs> we got a big black spot straight off the bat. Yes, we're eating today. <laughs> what a beauty. <laughs> well, <laughs> that was quick. All those hours walking for crabs and we just shot a beautiful eating fish, a five star eating fish in about one minute being in the water. That's ridiculous, man. <laughs> We are having black spot tusky on the fire for dinner and look at the teeth on him These things just rip apart crabs rocks and oysters and things like that. They're one of my favorite fish Honestly, I love shooting them. We'll get them in the bag now and um, get back out of there Thanks for your food, buddy. Appreciate it How's the glass off weirdly windy as mornings, but super nice afternoon so we've been blessed with it just dropping out and Getting the fish just like that. I think for the effort we put in this morning, it's pretty nice to be blessed with these conditions. How are you doing, bro? Any luck? Gutted, tusky ground. Yeah. But there's no like big bombies. Nothing with crazy, trout, hey. I've got a spot just up here that oh, okay. should have Moving heaps on. of trout on it. Well, I've got what I needed for today. That's going to be well and truly enough food. So I'm just going to take this GoPro down while Wade has a hunt and um, see what I can find. All these little guys that you can see right here are juvenile tuskies. And sitting under the bommies is where you find the coral trout. Just there, no, not you mate, but behind him is a young bar cheek coral trout. Trout grow very rapidly during their first three years of life. They begin life as females, sexually maturing at about two years old and then they actually transform into males permanently between three to seven years of age. They're super sustainable fish to hunt if you're only taking what you need. I got a jumbo trout. He's a good fish. He's a good, oi, he's not that far in. He's just at a weird angle. Yeah, we can get him out that way. We we'll get him out easy. We got him. Woo! <laughs> Holy! That is a good shot. <laughs> That's a, Look at this. <laughs> That's a good trout. Oh, got him. <laughs> yes, brother. That is dinner. Sorted, bro. That's a good fish. Really good fish. Look at that. That's a good trout. Huge. That's a good what is he, Barchi? Beautiful trout. Profit. We'll take these back to the beach. We'll cook them up. Have an awesome sunset cook up. And we'll see you guys there. Oh, there we go. All right, small yeah. sticks. Get that little stuff on, mate. There we go. Got a massive pile of sticks going here because we want some big coals. There's something swimming across the creek over there. Do you reckon that's a snake? The heat coming off this thing is mental. Ah. He's following me. Look. It's gonna come this way. Back this way. I swear campfires follow you around. The smoke and the heat always get to my eyes no matter which way I walk. It's just a weird thing that's always happened to me. How's the sunset though? It's on. Here's our beautiful black spot tusky. What I'm gonna do is spread half of this fire to one side here so I can try and keep the flame going and spread hot coals on the other side. Yeah, that's what we want. 
It's your perfect bed right there. And the fish is gonna go on top. And these massive tough scales that they have, they're huge. That's gonna protect it from burning. So we'll put it straight on the coals. Traditional style, I'm gonna cover it up a little bit so we get a bit of an even cook. With that fire back over that fish. Yeah, the traditional people of the land would cook them like this, cook most of their stuff like this back in the day, and it proved pretty effective. It's so hot like that. It's gonna be cooking like an oven inside its scales there, and it shouldn't need, it's, it's a thick fish, but it shouldn't need a whole heap of time. So we'll leave that like that. Enjoy this sunset, and then it should be ready. Didn't really think this through, but we got to transport this fish, which is done, over to the rock over there. So, <laughs> gonna do our best with these sticks here and hopefully not drop it in the sand. Oh, dude, look at that. All right, one job, Nick. Don't drop it. One job. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, there's still a burning hot coal on there. Don't flick it at me, mate. Rock straight to the It kind of looks like a black piece of charcoal in the GoPro, but watch this. When I peel this skin back. We go from here. <sighs> Look at that, man. Look at all that fresh white meat. Completely protected from the coals there. I think we've actually nailed this. Oh man, we couldn't have done that better. Look, I'm actually gonna go for this. There bit. we go, man. That's the wing right there. That's the wing. That's. Look, I'll, I'll take a bit right from the middle. Oh, oh hot coal. <laughs> yep, charcoal's on it. It's hot as. <laughs> All right, there's some shoulder meat. Here we go, bro. Cheers. Cheers, big dog. Holy damn, bro. That is unbelievably good. Oh, I just stood on a hot coal again. Wait, try some of this from the wing, bro. Try that bit of meat right there. It is different, eh? Wow. The flies are already all over it. We could just scrape all that off. Look at all that white meat down the gob. Holy. Here goes the other side. Look at that skin. Just peel back. Oh. Shotgun. All right, we're gonna enjoy this side. Finish eating up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you wanna watch some more, Wade's got a channel as well, I'll put it down below. We did an insane mission with him, hunting with hand spears and eating only what we catch for two days out here. Check it out, I'll put it down below. Thank you guys for watching. We're chasing craze in the next one, so stay tuned. We'll see you later. Yo. We did it. <laughs> <laughs>